Next topic. As you guys all know, somebody by the name of Dre Michelle, um, she is an elderly woman <laughs> right now. Uh, she's, a, I want to say, a basketball wife, uh, video vixen type woman. Um, she just got knocked up by Jalen Green, which is a 22-year-old NBA basketball player. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because of the double standard that you see on social media. When Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio, whoever, that's a celebrity, and they're 30, 40 years old, and they date somebody that's 22, 23, y'all calling him a pedophile, a predator, a groomer, even though he's talking to somebody that is of legal age and can make decisions for themselves. But when a woman does it, flash over to Drea, when Drea do it, it's go, sis. You get in the bag. Good shit. Got you a good one. Where's the outrage for Drea Michelle? Where are the grooming accusations for Drea Michelle? Where's the predator and the pedophile terms and slurs being thrown at for Drea Michelle? Where is that? It ain't nowhere. Because nobody gives a fuck when it's a dude, to be honest. Because let's be honest, you guys all think that when it's a man, they should know better. We should make the right decisions. We shouldn't be taken advantage of. The kid's 22, male or female. He don't know nothing. Yeah, he got a million-dollar contract. A million dollars doesn't make you mature. It doesn't make you smart. It doesn't make you be able to peep game and know when somebody's running game on you. It doesn't, no matter how much money you have. So don't equate money to intellectual property. You can't do that. But again, this is the, this is the, the fuck men thing that I'm talking about. Because you got a 22-year-old kid who was groomed to pay somebody's bills later on in life because that's what's going to happen. And nobody's saying nothing about it. You don't see no women up in arms. Now, me personally, when it comes to an older man or an older woman dating younger, me personally, if you were 40 years old and you're dating an 18-year-old, that's weird. That's weird as fuck. There's no way to cut it. Now, are you a predator? Are you a pedophile? No. I can't call you that. Why? Because this person's within the legal age limit. Is it weird? Hell yeah, it's weird. All day it's weird. I might look you look at you funny, whisper under my breath. Yeah, this nigga's weird. Watch out for that nigga. Yeah, but can I go and call you a pedophile or a predator? No. She's 18. What can we do? She can make her own decisions. Would I do that? Hell no. But I think we overuse these terms predator and, 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 and pedophile in situations like these where you have an older man dating a younger woman. But then when it's an older woman dating a younger man, you don't hear it. You hear all the excuses in the book. Y'all make it as if it's good. And let's be honest about Drea. Do y'all really think Drea Michelle loves that man and wants to be with this man forever and raise that child together? This nigga's 22. She's 45. Her kid is his age. What do they have in common? What do they talk about? Like there's nothing there besides sex. Bro knocked up his, his childhood nut rag dream pretty much. That's what he did. The bitch he blew a load to every night before bed. He knocked her up because he finally was able to get to her. And now he don't even really know who she is. That's what I, I truly believe that. He don't really know Drea. But he's going to see in a few years. This is, this is leading up to a payday for her. I call it now. Three, five years down the road, they break up. She collects a check for the next 18 years. Simple as that. And bro, and this is why I'm saying money don't make you smart. Because somebody should have schooled him or somebody should have told him something and been like, hey, this is not the right move. You're young. Your life is just starting. You sure you even want to have a kid right now, let alone with an old ass bitch. Let's be honest. She on her way out. Like, like you feel me? She on her way out, bro. That shit is stupid to me. Now, if he was maybe 25, 26, at that point, your frontal lobes developed, buddy. I can't, I can't say you were taken advantage of at all. But you're 22. So I think, I think you are being taken advantage of. And I think the double standard is sickening. And that's not the only double standard we have in America with women and men. But... 
This is one of those sick things that women get to do and get away with, and nobody says shit about it. It's not frowned upon. You have to think about, again, break down the psyche of a, of a grown woman like Dre and Michelle going after somebody the same age as her son, bro. That's weird. That makes me go, Dre and Michelle, what did you go through in your past as a child? Let's go unpack some of your childhood trauma. No, for real. And I'm going to get killed for that, but that's a fact. Was somebody on you when you was little? And that's why you like littler niggas? Like, what, what is it? Because you got to start looking at it like that. You have a kink for, for, for younger niggas. Why is that the case? And I think for a man and a woman, it's different. When a, when a grown man, when a 40-year-old man dates a 25-year-old girl, I don't think it's the same as when a 45-year-old woman dates a 25-year-old dude. A man is a teacher. A man is a leader. A man is a provider. So most times, a woman, when she comes into a relationship, whether she's 25 or 35, she's coming in to be the co-captain to this ship. Not the captain, because the captain is the man. So I can understand it from a man's perspective. A woman comes along, she's his helpmate, he grows her. He nurtures her and she grows and learns things from him, right? As well as she's protected and provided for. So I understand that point of view. For a woman, a 45-year-old woman dating a 25-year-old man, I don't understand that. Because again, the man is a captain. So how is a man that's not even a man yet? Remind you, this, this nigga's 22 years old. So his frontal lobe is not even developed yet. How is he going to be a captain of any ship in this? And, and so that's why the decision doesn't make any more sense to me, because as a woman, you're looking for a captain. You're looking for a leader. Right. Not only financially, but somebody who can bring that masculinity. Emotional wise, mental wise. Right. Really lead you. How the fuck is a 22 year old man, 22 year old young man that just came into money, just came into fame. How is he going to lead you? Are you even thinking about that? So this is where I'm looking at Dre and Michelle like mm, and it's alluding to. A lot of these older women out here, this is how they thinking. These older women are just as bad as the younger women. They didn't do no work. They didn't save no 401k. You feel me? They don't got no retirement, no credit, just long nails, box braids, and trips. That's it. These older women are just as bad as the younger women. You 45 years old and you had to go and pick the 22-year-old nigga, you couldn't go get a boss? And this is even a worse reason why bro picked her. Bro, nobody her age wanted her, bro, because she's fucking ran through. Let's be honest. Nobody wanted her. She's fucking ran through. And you're the only nigga because of your age in, that, in this situation, you feel like you got the one up probably. Oh, I'm dating Dre and Michelle. I'm having a baby with Dre and Michelle. Meanwhile, you got corny, goofy-ass niggas like Nick Young and, and Gilbert Arenas clowning you. They corny for that, but this is, the, this is what's going to happen when you date somebody like her. This is just the beginning, bro. So strap up for that ride, man, because it's, it's going to be ugly. As for Dre and Michelle, we need to be looking at her. And women, y'all need to be condemning her. What the fuck is wrong with that girl's mental to want to be led by a 22-year-old boy? She either has mental issues, like I said, she had something going on with her when she was a kid, etc., or she just looking at it like as a bag. Either way, it's fucked up 100% all the way around. It ain't no way to cut it. 